Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome back to episode 27 in our Material Energy Hypercube series. I'm here with Thornal, and it has been quite some time since the last time we recorded. It's, what, maybe almost a month now, Thornal? Yeah, it's been about that. It's been a long time. Um, we, we moved the server around a little bit, and uh, we did a whole bunch of cleaning up, little little tidying here and there, did a little, little exploration. Um, uh, I went back and examined some of the things, some of the tips and, and uh, things that people give us. We, we went back and found a few of that stuff. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get right on to explaining some of the things. So uh, let's see, do we got anything to explain up here? I think we showed all this. So we haven't done any like major alterations to the actual structure of stuff. Well, we did do this one here. What's that? Uh, you moved this out and I extended oh, it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, I put this over there because I was tired of keeping tripping on it when it was over here and accidentally going downstairs. Yeah, I think we did that when between episodes. So, yeah, my, yep. minor structural change there. Um, Dornell went and got another wild cow. You can, you can explain to him why you had to go get more wild cows. <laughs> Cause I thought I could breed a domestic cow for wild cow and get a domestic. Child, but it, they won't interact with each other. So I had to go get another wild cow to keep breeding for another domestic. So yeah, when he got his first domestic, he prematurely killed the secondary wild cow. And uh, yeah, so I had to get another one. Anyway, uh, no new deaths. I don't think. I think, think there was anyway. No. Okay. So, uh, uh, and you might notice that that Thornell's got a face. What's going on, man? Where's I your... broke, I broke my robotic shell. So yeah, he had to send it off to to Acme Repair Shop, and uh, you know they're they're being uh, very slow about sending it back. So uh, he's he's out of his he's out of his robot suit. Unfortunately, it doesn't update the the previously. Whoops, that was easy to break. It doesn't update the previously generated heads from when he died. So those are all still got the black under robot head thing. Yep. All right, and we moved to this farm, this uh the the flux seeds. You see they're gone from here, but I've got this kind of I don't know if I'm going to call that a contraption or a monstrosity over here. That's really cool though. Uh let me see if I can't explain it. So, in this chest, we end up go turn on can can you run over to the generator and turn the uh, farm on? I think it's the first lever. Just turn them both on. Be it. It'll be all right. Just turn them all on. Um, so what happens, we can see we got a compact machine here. This is a good size one. Um, Dornell made that one, uh, and he didn't want quite that big one. So I'm like, hey, we'll use it for our flux crystals. And it has worked out very, very well. So what happens is as they come out of this compacted space, in there is a farm. I'll show you that in a minute. But they come out into the sky stone chest. Uh, then they're pushed up into this autonomous activator. You can see there, there's already some coming out because he just turned it on. And then the autonomous activator places them, and I just have these couple pieces of cobblestone to keep them from like going outside of that little area there. The autonomous activator, that autonomous activator places them, and this autonomous activator breaks them with the crystal hammer. And then we get the rough shards get come, you know, get hoppered into this skystone chest then those can be pushed into here you can see in here we've got some rough shards getting automatically uh, processed now I know some people and probably possibly it was just the fact that it was a previous version these were impossible to automate in previous version or something but there was some issue with it but they work fine as long as you put the automation upgrade in it then you can use Ender I.O. conduits to put things in and pull things out. So uh, this pulls them out of the gem cutter. So we're only doing the first, we're, we're doing the breaking up there with that. Then we're doing the cutting process here automatically. And then they end up in this chest. You can see we've got lots and lots of, of flux crystals to process. Now, I imagine you can put an automation upgrade in here, but this thing is a little funny. Because if you uh, if you don't put the exact amount of stuff in there, like I think Dornell just put in like twenty eight 
or 48 smooth stone diamonds. That should process into exactly two diamonds. Um, if you put like an odd number in there that, that that's different from the total amount of the recipe or a multiple of the recipe, it ends up getting screwed up. So we're still we're still loading this machine by hand. So they get to this they get to this put this point automatically. You can see we've got tons of smooth compressed zero brine that's going to allow us to make lots and lots of cookies um, and let me go and show you the inside of the compact machine where the cookie where all the plants are actually grown okay so we've got a vacuum chest that actually does all the collecting of the things as they are as they grow and what all these autonomous activators we got I don't know one autonomous activator per plant and what that will do it says aim high and it's right clicking so it's just right clicking all these plants all the time so as soon as it becomes um, fully grown uh, it will harvest it but it won't you see there it goes it just it just harvested that therabine thing and I just want to throw it out and go in there and it'll go outside of this space I actually set this up so that I could eventually have more levels than this but this this amount of farm produces so much stuff that it can't the rest of the automation can't even keep up with it like uh if if we leave it running for a little bit this chest will start backing up um and this uh gem cutter even though it has an efficiency and a speed upgrade will not be able to keep up with the farm so we need to have to put in more of the gem cutters which is a possibility if we if we make that bigger so right now I think that's that's good the way it is. Like we can oh that's thank you. That, that's perfect. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'm glad you put that down. Uh so yeah, now we can uh we have this pretty much automated up to this point and we can have lots and lots of stuff. I mean bunches of greater reward bags and diamonds and resources. Well, and that's then that's that. That's the flux crystals and they do work pretty good in the in the in the 1.0.4 version of this pack. I uh, think I've mentioned it a few times in previous versions that if you have the 1.0.3 version of the pack, don't try to use that stuff. It'll lag you out real bad. So definitely upgrade to the latest, greatest version, and then you'll be able to use that and, 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 and work with it just fine. So, okay, moving on to the next thing to show you. Look at this. I, I think I think I don't think I had this made in previous versions. This is the cookie factory down here. So got this set up to basically just continuously compress cookies uh, from the bot from the products that are coming out of the farm up there and uh, eventually I will do something that will allow me to well I need wheat right now run out of wheat so we're, we really we've got enough um enough cocoa for a while uh, and seeds are really not building up that much either so anyway just just real quick um, you can see we've got an input, a crafter, an output, and that continues all the way down through till we get to octuple compressed cookies in the final stage. Um, if you need to know about how to set these up, basically you pick your inputs, you give it a crafting recipe, and you make sure that the output item is set to the thing that you're trying to craft or it will mess up. So that's a little bit about Seize Factory Manager. I'm not going to go really deep into the Seize Factory Manager explanation. I've done that in previous videos. You can go find those in my uh, video history and check that out. I've done nothing new inside of here. I think uh, as you've seen the inside of that. That's where I have the automated uh, automation of, of setting up the uh, parts. Whoa, don't jump when you step on a thing or you can <laughs> take a little damage. Um, where, where I have the automated setup of the applied energistics. Uh, I don't think Stop. we showed the mine, have we? The what? Show, show oh, the mine. You're right. We haven't looked inside of Dornal's little compact machine over. You know, see all of our. We had a bunch of potion stuff, brewing stuff like right in this general area. Now that is all inside here. Yay! Look in here. So yeah, we've. Uh, oh, I didn't know you put a terminal in here. That's cool. That's cool. That's good. <laughs> so yeah, you have terminal access inside here. And we've got all the different potions on different shelves, and he's got his brewing stands over here. Still fairly manual, but he can come in here and hide whenever, uh, whenever he wants. <laughs> and uh, all kinds of 
of our what are these are our, like all of our stock of uh, stuff that we use yep. on a regular basis. Our potions of strength and our potions of fire resistance. Fire resistance, excellent. So yeah, so all the brewing has been contained in here. Maybe someday I'll talk him into setting this up as an automated thing. Maybe using some uh, um, Ender IO conduits and some some filters and stuff. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's the inside of that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'm trying to think of what else we 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 need to show that. We, oh, I found a cow. Found the mushroom. Where did I find this mushroom? I have no idea. I can't remember now. Oh, I remember. It was in. It was on. Uh, I think it was on the roof. Or was it on the attic? Or in in the roof somewhere? Yeah, it was in the roof somewhere. Oh yeah. Wasn't it uh, over by the generator? The generator room. Anyway, got the mushroom. Uh, let's go put it on the Victory Monument real quick. And we are down to needing very few left. We got one, two, three, four. Because it, uh, it the one goes on the very end. So there's an empty spot there. And I have, what, three empty spots here? One, two, three. So yeah, four more statues to find someplace. Haven't made any more armor. I will have that completed by the time we finish up this. Oh, we, I did make some swords. Made some swords to go with these sets of armor. Um, haven't found that. Uh, somebody said that we passed up Susie in the biosphere somewhere. So I'm going to go back and find Susie at some point, but I did not find her yet. Can you load up the uh, nether, nether sphere? Yep, sure can. Because I have stuff to show in there that that I found. Um, get back to observation. Let him go load that up, and then we'll get in there. I want to show you something I found uh, while looking around for stuff. I went in there to get some... What did, what did I go in there? Oh, I went in there to get some nether quartz, because I wanted to uh, maximize the damage on... Well, maximize damage on something. Maybe it was my bolts. Which these things basically one hit kill everything now. Yeah, I was maximizing damage on my on my bolts. Alright. It's loaded. Let's get in there. Um so yeah, this thing like one hit kills everything I shoot it at now. Except for Enderman, because they always teleport away before they get hit. <laughs> uh, I probably should have taken a fire resistance potion, but I don't think it's too important. So I came down here, and I found something really cool. And I really haven't explored it just yet. Um, and what kind of clued me into it is I seen a bunch of mobs on my radar that were like over here in the corner. You can kind of see them right now. A bunch of mobs over here. And I was and I was clearing away netherrack anyway, because there was a bunch of, of uh, nether quartz here, like kind of like over there. Uh, maybe there's something behind that one too, but I, I haven't seen any mobs spawning over there. So, anyway, down in here there's something. Wow, yeah, this thing just fires and kills and it's just crazy good. Well, it, the spirit got away. Did you bring any torches? I didn't bring any torches. I didn't either. Oh shoot. Maybe maybe I have torches in my in my bag here. Oh, you know what I got? What you you got the glowstone stuff? Yep. Oh, you know we we got oh the the yeah. Boop. It should should have solidified like right away. Why didn't it solidify? It's weird. I don't know. It's growing up. That's weird. Um. Well, anyway, we got this thing here. Emmy controller. Big one. This is a big Emmy controller thing. It's, uh... And there's something down in there. What's shooting? What's making it? Oh, that was probably the skeleton making explosion noises. See, yeah, look. Doesn't want to... Doesn't go away, huh? No, it's, it's going up. It's crazy. Uh, usually it solidifies. Maybe something changed? I don't know. 
Anyway, we can get down in here and get this, whatever this is. Um, oh, baby. Baby zombie, go away. Now, see, that was solidified. Maybe you did it wrong. Oh, look, I, I, I got a zombie trophy. An additional zombie trophy for killing that guy. Uh, so what I have in there, I had a legendary reward bag. We're going to save that. Because we can use... Does it, how many legendary reward bags does it take to make the, the seed? Um, legendary is five, I think. Okay, and then I'm also going to take this uh, security <laughs> terminal. Nope, actually it's ten. It's five epic. Legendary takes ten. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, Thanks for the warning. It wouldn't be fun if I warned you. So yeah, we're just gonna grab all this stuff up while we're right here. Might as well get these Emmy parts. And yeah, then we're gonna dig our way up out of here. Um, let's see. I should have a magnet. There it is. I gotta pick all that stuff up real, real quick and easy. And I'll let Dorn, Dornall get up out of here. The biggest way up. I should be able to break this thing now with this with my pickaxe. I, I I should. Yeah, there we go. Skytone chests are actually useful. Well, maybe that, maybe when that eventually, maybe that stuff will eventually solidify. Who knows? <laughs> we, we, this all the way up out. All right, we're good. We're out of there. All right. Anyway, that was the secret I found in here. Um, shoot, I could swear there was another buy or another one of these incursion things that I found something cool in. I can't even remember which one it was now. Did you check all corners? Uh, I didn't, but I figured since there was no mob spawning in the other corners, there probably wasn't anything in there. They were probably just solid. Like, I had actually dug into that corner over there trying to look for the mobs, and it, it was just solid all the way to the edge. Um, when I was, I was, because I was up just a little too high to hit the, to hit the, the cavity. So anyway, let's, let me get back up here. There is something I wanted to show you in the main area. Uh, I went into. Well, we'll just get, let me get up out of here, and then I'll. Uh, I'll I will explain. This thing's like a machine gun, man. Okay, now that we're out of there, I want to show you. I I don't know why it didn't occur to me to look at this when I first found it. But I never actually dug into this upside down pyramid, and I definitely should have because if we come down in here and look, first of all, it's really bright down in here. But there's this chest right here with some really good stuff in it. Look, I get a I get a diamond chisel, somebody's chisel, Dural crusts chisel, and uh, the crazy big ME fluid storage component. I can turn that into a drive. And a, and a crazy big storage component. Another one of them big fluid storage components. A 16K, I mean, storage cell. I mean, we can use that for sure. A 16K fluid storage cell. I don't know if we would use that too much. And a crazy big storage cell. So 100 or 1,024K storage. That's huge. That's very huge. And a new gold lasso of draw crusts. So I have to go put that in the uh, in the mini me storage. I'm not I'm not do that on camera. I'll just put it up here for now, and then later uh, off camera, Dornell can load up the mini me the mini me lab, and we can uh, add him to our collection of mini me's. I'll just put him in here for now with the with the armor where the rest of the extra ones are at right now. Okay. Um. Wow. Did we? Oh, yeah. Did I really just get everything covered that uh, that we did between? I think so. Yeah, I think so too. What do you want me to load? Um. Well, let's see. Well, how much time we got left? We got another ten minutes or so left before we wrap this one up. So let's let's get a start on something. Let's. Uh, well, either one will go into the biosphere and find that thing that we missed, which I have no clue where it's at. So that could that could take more than ten minutes. Um. 
Or we can go into the new biosphere that we just got and we haven't actually yeah. been inside yet. We go into do that. Um, okay, so this is the. We're gonna want to. We're definitely gonna want to bring some glass because there is oh, witches yeah, yeah. galore. Yeah, yeah. We want some of that ineffable glass. Do I have that in my bag by any chance? And torches. Um, actually, I'm gonna use some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and unload all this extra stuff that I got right now. Uh, into here for now. We'll sort it out later. Get it all sorted. And let's see. I want to put my shrinker away. I don't need that out. Don't need that. Don't need that. And I'm going to put the legendary. How many legend? Did you never said how many legendary bags do we need to make this seed? Ten. Ten. Oh, jeez. It's a lot. Five epic, ten legendary. Yeah. Okay, so let me get some glass, some of the ineffable. Did you want me to make some potions of regeneration? You know, we really should make those. Um, we really should make the, uh, what is it? Not the aspirin, but the, uh, uh, maybe it is aspirin. I don't know. There, there was penicillin. Penicillin, that's probably something like that. Anyway, there's some chemicals that we make. I think we're going to be okay, I hope. I hope. We've got good armor and it's got protection on stuff on it. You know, I, what I didn't do is I didn't check in here to see if there was any quests that I needed to turn in that we did between episodes. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Nothing here yet. Um, we're doing Lost in Time. Oh, yeah, here we go. You made the Joe in a tank. So I did what? You made the Joe in a tank. Joe! Yes, I did. Okay, so uh, we can turn that one in. I get an obsidian broadsword and a uh, reward bag. What kind of reward bag? Greater. Just toss it in there. How many? Re wow. I'm not. I don't even know if I want to open those on video anymore because it's just it's getting redundant. I don't know. I I have to. Uh, whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'll have to uh, tweet out and see what people think about whether I should keep opening all that on, on camera, if I should, like, just, you know, just open them. And because it, and we're going to have so many of them now that we can actually manufacture them. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. All right, let's, right. Get in, let's get in here. Wow, look at all of those. You know what else we need? We need some builder blocks. Some uh, cobblestone or something. Just a stack of cobblestone will do, and I'll move that there. We go. That should work. Let's just arrange a little bit. We now that we spent like three minutes just kind of getting ready to go in here. Let's go in here. Let's see. I want to look at that. That's witch. Ow! She hit me with something. Potion. Yes. Whoa. Uh oh. What is hitting me? Oh. Okay. Took her out. <laughs> uh, except I'm not in a good place now. Who are you? I fell down. On the outside of the glass? Yeah, sort of. A bit. And I probably should turn my F7 on so I can kind of see. Yeah, you all right there? Shooting here, I'm shooting. <laughs> I'm up, I'm up a little higher now. Um, 
Wow, I, I was gonna try to get some of the, I'm trying to get some, uh, some of our energized glowstone in there. That'll help. Nice thing is, is, this thing, like, seriously, one hit kills everything in this room. And it shoots like a machine gun. Kind of lighten it up a little bit and staying relatively safe up here. Wow, this is just crazy. What's even more crazy is that we're, we're surviving it. Did I just... Oh, I meant to not mean to break that block. Let me put, that, let me put something back there. Let me put something back there. How you doing as far as... um? Well, you you surviving okay here? No, I gotta come out now. I'm down under my hearts. I ran out of food. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If I eat, then we're getting lots of potions. We're getting lots of potions. Okay, wow, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much out of time now. But as you can see, not doing bad in there. Actually, really didn't take that much damage or anything. It just It's just, like, annoying. I imagine if we could get down in there, there's a good chance that they, we could get overrun. We got Withering Dust. Look at all these potions I got. Oh, I got Instant Health. Um... Gosh, Splash Potion of Decay. I'm just going to toss all these in here just to get them out of my inventory for temporary. There we go. And yeah, eventually I'll get them out and put them in the potion area. I mean, clearly we're, we're not, we are well equipped for this, it seems. Like, between, between my bow and Pahamar's pan, we are pretty much able to, to beat them down. It's just going to take a while to, like, we're just going just gonna to keep pushing them back and using our... And using our stuff, um, our glowstone, our throwable glowstone. Yeah. You, you know what we really need is something to um, ward us from those effects, whatever they. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. It's, it's a withering effect. There isn't anything. Uh, yeah, nothing in the pack as far as I know, anyway. So, yeah, it's just a matter of getting the lights down and pushing our way into the room and stuff. So I think we're going to do a little bit of that between this episode and next. And, uh, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it. Be sure and leave like, comment, and thumbs up. And uh, tell all your friends. So until next time, I will catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>